Hi, this is Eddie. With the recent upgrade to the HP Prime software version 6030, the ability of the string command has been expanded as well. Now we can turn numerical results into strings and specify the format, decimal precision, and even dictate what separator marks can be used. This video will provide a short demonstration on how to do that. The basic format is to put the numeric expression in the string command by itself. The format that the numeric expression takes is going to be dictated by whatever you have set up in the home settings. By adding two more arguments or codes, you can tailor the way the results are displayed by mode and precision. For mode, you can specify zero to take on the current mode that you have set up in the home settings, or you can dictate what mode you want. One for standard, two for fixed, three for scientific, four for engineering, five for floating, and six for rounded. If you want fractions, add seven to the code number. If you want mixed fractions, add 14 to the code number. For precision, you can enter a negative one, which will take the setting that you have in home settings, or you can specify the number of digits by entering any integer from zero to 11. If you want to dictate the characters of the separators, you're going to need two additional arguments. The first additional argument is a list of two strings. The second argument is going to be the pixel size limit. Here is the format of the two additional arguments that you are going to need. The first argument is going to be a list of two strings. Here, X stands for the large digit separator, comma for US, decimal point for international settings. You can specify your own character if you want. Y is going to be the fraction separator, the symbol that's going to separate your integer from your fraction. Again, specify whatever character that you want. SL represents the size limit which is the pixel limit of the string. Set this number arbitrarily high. For me, 999 seems to work. Here is a program I'm going to run, STR Demo, that illustrates the use of the string command. Here we're going to use pi to the ninth power. This first section is just going to take the string of that and we'll let the calculator take care of the formatting. The second section right here, we're going to specify what type of mode and precision that we are going to use. For this example, I'm going to use fixed, scientific, and engineering and use a decimal precision of six. The third and last section, we're going to specify the characters for the large number separator and the fractional separator. Please note the list of two strings here that I'm going to use and the 999 as a specified size limit. Here I'm going to run STR demo. Here's the first section. I'm going to take the default settings of pi to the ninth power using whatever I have set up in the home settings, which happens to be standard format. On to the next section, I'm going to use a decimal precision of 6, and as you can see, I used fixed, scientific, and engineering format. And then finally, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the last two arguments to show that you can display the numerical formats between U.S. and international settings. Thank you for joining me today. You can visit my blog, Eddie's Math and Calculator blog, at edspi31415.blogspot.com. Thank you very much, and have a great day.